Hey everyone, welcome to this psychology lecture series. In this video, we are going to talk about narrative psychology. Narrative psychology is the study of how human beings construct stories to deal with experiences. It operates under the assumption that human activity and experience are filled with meaning and stories rather than logical arguments or lawful formations. Narrative psychology is not a single or well-defined theory. It refers to a range of approaches to examine the role of stories in human life and thought. In narrative psychology, a person's life story becomes a form of identity as how they choose to reflect on, integrate and tell the facts and events of their life not only reflects but also shapes who they are. The term narrative psychology was introduced by Theodore R. Sarban in his book Narrative Psychology, The Storied Nature of Human Conduct. In this book, he claimed that human conduct is best explained through stories and this explanation should be done through qualitative research. Sarpin also argued that narrative is a root metaphor for psychology that should replace the mechanistic and organic metaphors which shaped so much theory and research in the discipline over the past century. In 1986, Jerome Bruner in his book Actual Minds, Possible Worlds explored the narrative kind of knowing in a more empirical way. Brunner makes a distinction between paradigmatic and narrative forms of thought, proposing that they are both fundamental but irreducible to one another. Dan P. McAdams co-edited the 11 book series, The Narrative Study of Lives. Dan P. McAdams gave a life story model of identity to describe three levels of personality. This led to the exploration of how significant life transitions are narrated and how the self and culture comes together in the narrative. More recently, narrative psychology has sought to use quantitative research to study communication and identity, studying narratives to obtain empirical data about human cognition and adaption. Narrative psychologists use interviews to provide an opportunity for a person to give a detailed account of their life or particular events. Narratives can then be transcribed and analyzed in order to describe and interpret them. In 1997, according to Brown and Taylor, African American slaves had made contributions to narrative psychology by participating in the Federal Writers Project that was conducted from 1937 to 1938. Nearly 300 field workers participated in the process of interviewing 2,000 slaves across 17 states to construct narratives from the former slaves' accounts of their lives as slaves and during the period after the Civil War. One of the best interviewers was folklorist Ruby Pickenstart, who worked principally in rural Sumter County in Alabama. She recorded exactly what the slaves would say in their interviews and she went on to write folk tales based on their tales. I hope you like this video. Please share these videos with everyone who is preparing for this exam. Thank you.